Let's start. The project name is Picasso Library. Picasso Library handles the image processing and loading an image into the image view while handling the memory management efficiently. Let's see the project structure. In the build.gradle file, we have integrated the Picasso library. Here, we have the main activity. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have an image view. Three buttons, load image, load image as bitmap, and clear image view. And a progress bar, which is initially hidden and gets visible when the user clicks a button. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the image view. This is the load image button. This is the clear image view button. This is the load image as a bitmap button. And this is the progress bar. The visibility attribute is set to gone initially. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the on create function, when the load image button is clicked, we show the progress bar. Then we call the Picasso class with various functionalities like load where we define the URL from where we want to download the image, resize attribute, placeholder attribute which shows a temporary image until the actual image is downloaded from the internet, error attribute which shows an alternative image if the actual image is not downloaded from the internet. Then we set the network and memory policies. And finally, we call the into function which has two callbacks, on success and on error, where we dismiss the progress bar and load the image into the image view. When the load image as bitmap button is clicked, first we create a target, where and how we want to load the image, where we can load the actual image as bitmap, an error image if the actual image is not available, and a placeholder image to be shown until the actual is downloaded. Then we call the Picasso class with various functionalities like load where we define the URL from where we want to download the image, resize attribute, placeholder attribute which shows a temporary image until the actual image is downloaded from the internet. Error attribute which shows an alternative image if the actual image is not downloaded from the internet. And finally, we call the into function where we pass the target as an argument. When the clear image view button is clicked, we clear the image view like this. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can use the Picasso library to download and load an image into an image view efficiently in Java Android. Thanks for watching.